Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to find and manage Facebook activity log. When you're on Facebook, you like something, you comment on something, you share something, you post something. Facebook actually has a place where it saves it all and it's under the activity log. I'm going to show you how to find the activity log and I'm going to show you how to manage some of it. I'm not going to show you everything because there's a lot to do in there, but I'll show you a little few tips on how you can manage that activity log. So the first thing you want to do is go to Facebook and we'll go there right now and I'm already logged in if you're not logged in make sure you log in and then once you log in on the home screen here you're gonna to look to the left and your name should be right here and you just click on that or you can look to the top to the right of the search box and you'll see your name there too you want to go to your profile your personal profile page so that's where we're headed right now so click one of those and then once you're on your personal profile page you're going to look to your cover image and to the right and look for activity log right here. I want to click on that. And now we're in our activity log. Now we found our activity log. Now I'm going to show you how to do some managing of it. So first, if you look to the right, you'll notice all the years. So I've been on uh, Facebook since 2009. So you can click on each year and go to different years and show the posts from there or comments from that section and all that so that's really nice to have you can even go up to the search box here at the top and actually search for certain things so you can type in someone's name and see on anything you've posted with them or you were like or tagged in their photo it will pull that type of stuff up and also if you look to the left this is where it gets more the filters get more detailed so right down here you're gonna see photos and videos likes and reactions comments and then if you hit this more there's a ton more so there open that up and it opens up a ton of other filters you could use to find what you're looking for now we're going to um, use comments as an example for this video so click on comments and now we're well we're almost in our comments hopefully my computer likes me there we go now we're in our comments so the last thing i commented on was on july 28th on this year so I can change the years if I want to but I'm just gonna stick with 2019 for this video you're gonna look to the right and you're gonna see a little edit pencil this is kinda fun so this is this is comment so I commented on this one I can click the edit button and I can delete my comment so that's kinda nice like if I decided oh I didn't want to comment or I didn't want to say that you can delete it now remember anything goes online stays online so but this will make it harder for people to find your comment ever again. So you can delete it from here. Also, if you go to photos and videos, which is kind of nice, you go in here, you can actually change. I want to show you this a little bit. This is kind of fun. They have the world right. So most of these photos and videos I've shared, like this photo I shared for me, barbecuing, mm, barbecue. You can click this little arrow, this down arrow, and it'll. you can change it from public to just letting friends see it. To only me see it or even hit the more and you can specific friends can only see your post you can change it so you're not stuck with leaving a leaving a comment or a post as um, a public that's the nice thing about it so the the nice you can change that anytime you want and just in case you didn't want to make it public another way if you hit the edit button here also it will do something different allow on the timeline hidden from timeline or you can delete it just like the other one lets you delete too and the one more uh, example for you for managing this you can go to likes and reactions so this is what I do a lot I like a lot of stuff so it's like a, m a major amount of my stuff on Facebook is me liking things or me doing you know laughing at things or stuff like that that's my main thing I do on Facebook I don't post a lot um, so right in here if you go in here this top one so we can do the same thing we, we can't change the world because I'm liking someone else's post um, but you can go to edit and you can actually unlike the post so that's pretty cool I mean if you don't want someone to know oh I liked it like if I have a smiley face somewhere do I have a smiley face anywhere I don't oh there we go here's a smiley face I can go over to the edit and I can remove my reaction so that's you can do that anywhere in here so you can go through here take your time research a lot of this you could find the post you've been looking for or you liked a video a long time ago you want to hunt it down this is a great way for you to get in there and actually be able to find that because i always have that issue i want to show my wife something i liked and then i forget where it was so this is a place you can go where all your activities are that you've done on facebook and you can actually search for them in here and manage them so that's how you find and manage facebook activity log Make sure to go to davescomputertips.com. That's where all of our articles are. 
Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about it. And thanks for watching.